first phase concerns the tack welding. The main purpose of the tack weld is to hold the two pieces of metal in place while you apply the actual final friction weld. During this pointing phase, the tool is rotated and the tip of the pin is used to make small welding points between the channel and the cold plate. Verification of the trajectory is one of the steps before welding. The tool does not enter into the material, it only stays above the piece. This is to check that the trajectory is correct before carrying out the FSW weld. We make sure that the right parameters are set before the welding. Therefore, a few tests are necessary beforehand. Once the tests on the samples are finished, the samples are then taken to the recycling department and as aluminium is 100% recyclable, our procedure is eco-friendly. Then, the FSW welding starts with the material entry at a vertical descent speed of 120 mm per minute. The aim is to approach and place the shoulder with a constant force of 5.9 kN. Then, the movement is activated and the tool follows the set plan at a speed of 800 mm per minute and rotational speed of 2000 rpm. If there is a high density of channels, the weld can be separated into several small paths on the cold plates, otherwise overheating can occur during welding if a single weld is carried out. Once the weld is done, we move on to the milling phase. We will simply change the tool by replacing the FSW welding tool by a milling cutter. Here, we eliminate the burr that results from the weld. This defect is called flash. It is only a visual defect which displays the correct insertion of the tool in the material during welding. We are happy with the final result because we have a good penetration of the tool into the material, resulting in a perfect weld with a nice surface appearance.